Hello everyone. How are you going? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about the types of processors. As you know, processor is the main part of a computer, also known as the brain of a computer. The basic function of a processor is to fetch, process, decode, execute and store input data. The major types of processors include single core, dual core, quad core, hexa core, octa core and deca core. Let's discuss each type one by one. Single core processor. It is the oldest processor type available that only has one processing core or unit on a single chip. Single core processor can execute only one task at a time, which is inefficient for multitasking. Single core processor works based on FIFO model. That means if one operation is started, the second process should wait until the first one is finished. However, if it is fed with multiple operations, computer's performance is drastically reduced. So running multiple programs at the same time can degrade the entire performance of a computer system. It is also important to note that performance of a single core CPU is also depends on its clock speed. For more information on clock speed, click on the link below in description. Dual core processor. It's a single processor that has two separate processing units or cores on a single chip. This type of processor can function as efficiently as a single core, but can perform operations up to twice because each core has its own cache memory. Dual core processors are more useful for multitasking because both cores perform their operations independently. For example, if you are playing a game and listening to the music at the same time, one core can handle your game and other core manages your music. To utilize the dual core processor more efficiently, Running programs and operating systems must support simultaneous multi-threading technology. Quad-core processor, it's a refined model of multi-core CPU with four cores on a single chip. Like a dual-core processor which divides the workload between the cores, a quad-core processor does the same. Each core in a quad-core processor can run its own set of instructions at the same time as the other three cores run theirs. So each of four cores can execute and process instructions independently of the other cores. This way quad core processor can support multi-threading in which multiple threads are executed simultaneously by different cores. As I said quad core CPU can execute multiple instructions at the same time. So each core is dedicated for separate instruction to deal with. Quad core is best suited for gamers and heavy applications. Hexa core CPU, it's an advanced CPU with six different cores on a single chip. In other words, six different execution units are put together on one chip. These six independent cores are utilized to execute and process data. Intel first released i7 hexa core processor in 2010. Hexa core performs tasks faster and with better efficiency than dual core and quad core CPUs. Hexa core is much more comfortable with running high demanding applications. In other words, you can play games, watch movies and edit videos at greater efficiency without overloading your system. Quad core processor has 8 threads maximum while hexa core can have up to 12 threads, which means it is much better. It is mostly used in smartphones. Octa core processor. In this type of processor, there are 8 cores that can perform various tasks at the same time. Each of them acts like a standalone processing unit. Therefore, octa core CPUs allows multitasking feature by dividing the workload among all 8 cores. These 8 cores are managed in two sets of 4 cores. Hence, each set can perform the function of a quad core processing system. All cores work when multiple heavy tasks are given otherwise one set is enough. If there is any emergency or requirement then the second set of cores will be kicked in. Octa core uses comparatively more power as compared to quad core systems. Octa core is made to handle complex and heavy graphics along with the rendering capabilities. Finally Deca core processor. It's a type of multi core processor that has 10 independent units or cores. Each core is capable of performing tasks separately and 10 cores work together to perform operations more efficiently than other CPUs developed until now. With more cores, processor can handle more tasks at once making the system run faster and smoothly. Deca core works by dividing the tasks into smaller parts and assigning them to different cores. For example, if you are running multiple applications at the same time, 
processor assigns each application to different cores. With each core performing a specific task, system can handle multiple applications simultaneously without slowing down the system. DECA core processors are trending with their advanced features, such as hyperthreading technology, which allows each core to perform two threads at the same time. This feature doubles the number of threads that the processor can handle, further increasing the system's efficiency. If you want to know more about hyperthreading technology, click on the link below in description. Ok now the good thing is that DECA core processor consume less power than older CPUs, making them more energy efficient. Some of the popular smartphones that use DECA core processors include Samsung Galaxy S21, OnePlus 9 Pro and Xiaomi Mi 10. Alright so this was all about the types of processors. If you like the video please subscribe for more tech videos.